Hey guys, Dan here, and today I got a review video on something that I know you guys like. Uh, this is by Amerisun. This is actually a PowerSmart, and you see the model number. I don't have it memorized. I do apologize. It's the DB8621SH. This is self-propelled, 209cc four-stroke engine. 209 cc four-stroke engine you remember how much fun i had with my old troy build that had the 190 cc engine this is 209 cc's i mean that's pretty cool right so when i was offered to do the review on this i was like heck yeah they said pick a mower any mower you want you can do a review i said you know what go ahead and give me that power smart with the 209 cc engine i want to try it out Coast Guard's flying above, saving our lives. It's Labor Day. Let's give a salute to the Coast Guard and thank them for what they're doing, giving us an opportunity to enjoy a nice day off while they keep us safe. Anyways, let's get back to the review. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy. We're gonna assemble this bad boy, which comes about 95% assembled according to the website. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test in the front yard today. And we're gonna try it in all three modes because this is a three in one, so you can bag, you can mulch and you can side discharge. So that is absolutely perfect for what we need in a lawnmower. If we're gonna run a side hustle, if we're gonna do our own yard, or if we're gonna work as a full-time lawn guy and we need a nice 20 inch, 21 inch in this case, this is actually a 21 inch, um, and we need to get a smaller mower in back, into a backyard that has a fence or something like that, and you can't get your big giant zero turn or stander or whatever in there. So you're looking for something that's economical, efficient, and can hit all the targets. And the targets being, you got leaves falling in the fall, you need to vacuum them up, boom, you can bag. You don't wanna have to bag, you wanna just mulch, boom, you can mulch. And if it's really super thick grass, or it's kind of wet grass, and you don't wanna bag it, and you can't mulch it, you can side discharge it, and then you can rake it up and get it off the property. Either way, that's what this mower is supposed to be all about. So we're gonna unbox it, see what we got. We're gonna assemble it, see if it's really, truly only easy to assemble and doesn't require any expert help. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test. But let me say this, it is a heavy mower, okay? The website says it's 90 pounds. That's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a little bit difficult by yourself to pick this thing up in the box. The good thing about it though is I like a nice, heavy, sturdy mower when I'm mowing. That's something I like about the snapper. It's a heavy mower. It doesn't bounce all over the place. It gives you a smooth carpet cut. I'm looking forward to that with this right here. It's got eight inch back wheels, seven inch front wheels. So it's gonna help you go through the terrain. It is self-propelled, so it's good if you got some hills, depending on where you're at in this country, right? And if you got a pretty sizable yard, you know, it is self-propelled. You're not gonna be pushing and falling over in the middle of the day. So that's kind of nice too. Four strokes, so you gotta add your oil, make sure you got your oil and make sure you got your gas. My recommendation personally, marine gas or ethanol free gas if you will it's like 89 octane and it has no ethanol you can look for that on apps and stuff like that on your phone for fuel stations by you that have ethanol free gas if you're anywhere near the coast they call it marine gas uh, if not you can use true fuel and stuff like that you can also buy ethanol blockers off the shelf at your ace your big box stores or online um, also in the video description and also in the comment section, pinned as the number one comment, I'm gonna have a link to this mower. Right now it's $100 off. So you don't even have to pay, I think it's, I don't even think it's $270 for this entire mower shipped to your door, free shipping. And I have a link under the link to the mower where you can get yourself a spare blade right off the bat. So you'll have the original blade and you can have a spare blade. Sharpen those two blades up and it'll last you a really long time. Okay, enough about that. Let's open this thing up. Now, when this thing arrives, you're going to notice there's a label on it and it's going to say if there's a problem please save this box so if you can save your box break it down if you have to store it underneath your bed i don't know but do what you got to do to save this box because if you have any issues you're going to want to pack it up put it back in the box and send it back to amerismart power smart here amerisun i should say power smart in its original box it does have a three-year warranty okay so if there is a problem they do stand behind it this is the same company that gave me that generator a few weeks ago that I did the generator review. So this is really a stand-up company. I, I really like working with them. They got good quality products and affordable. Like I said, I don't even think this mower is $270 right now. Shipped to your door. It's a 21 inch. 
with a 209 cc engine. That's pretty wild. All right, so right off the bat, first thing you see is a bag. It's a 1.5 bushel vacuum bag here, okay? It's got a nice hard plastic bottom, so that's nice. It's not gonna rip easily. That's good. That's real good. Plenty of air if you look through. Got plenty of air, not sure if that'll show on camera, but that should make for a nice flow. Let's get some styrofoam out of here. They do give you some 10W30 motor oil. That does not necessarily mean that that's the motor oil you wanna put in your machine. All right, if you're in a very hot climate, you might wanna look for 10W40, something that's gonna handle the heat a little bit better in the summertime. Pay attention to that. We'll look on the manual and we'll see if there's actually uh, a recommendation according to the temperature. Okay, here's a little thing over the plastic gas cap to show you that there's no fuel. We'll put that back on before we take it out. We'll just put this here. All right, what do we got? We have a bag. And with this bag, it's got a spark plug tool. Um, looks like it has the, for your cable during assembly. Here's a little funnel. Here's the instruction manual. Here is your side discharge chute. Too easy. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna lift the mower out and uh, try to kick this box off and let's take a look at this mower. All right, so when you unpack the mower, the first thing that you wanna do, you wanna break open that manual. You wanna go ahead and check all the preparation parts that it gives you. It tells you about unpacking the tools that are required. You're gonna need a number two Phillips head screwdriver and a utility knife, obviously to cut the, uh, to cut the tape. Um, the screwdriver is for these two bolts right here, but they also give you a tool that comes in that bag that actually hits the hex head part. So you can do this actually um, just by hand. And these are just for the handle. And I'll show you that in a few seconds. Um, like I said, you got the spark plug tool here. So that's, you know, too easy. You're gonna wanna put your oil in, of course, and they give you a funnel for that to help you out. And then your fuel goes up here. And a couple notes that they give you is not to overfill your fuel. So don't fill it all the way up the neck because of expansion. You don't want fuel spilling everywhere. And then the oil, of course, if you pay attention to your dipstick, the oil has hash marks all over it. So, you know, it is wet because they do um, break the, the engine in, you know, they do fire it up and do a quality test, but then they drain the oil for shipping. So you will find oil, um, but you don't need to use break-in oil if you want. And again, like I said, they gave me 10W30, but we're gonna check the manual. We're just gonna check to see if there is a temperature range and if they recommend maybe 10W40 or 10W50 or 20W50 for that matter. But there is the dipstick here that just screws right here. It's too easy. It's basic lawnmower. It's big, bright yellow. And then your fuel right here, like I said. Um, so when it arrives, the handle's kind of locked with these zip ties. So just cut these zip ties off. It's already mostly assembled, as you'll see. So you can open this up. Tighten this handle down with the self-locking little, little screw heads here. Just like a basic mower. You guys know all about this. Then you got one on this side. You have your self-propel handle here and your operator presence handle here. Or it could be the other way around. But you're going to flip this back. And it's just gonna sit right there in its own caddy. Too easy right there, right? Okay. This already has a thing here to hold your cables nice and clean, I should say. And that's pretty important. You have a transmission adjuster right here. All right, so in the manual, it is gonna tell you how to adjust this and what to look for. I got videos on my channel that shows you uh, properly adjusted is you can't pull it backwards. As you see, the wheels are dragging going backwards. So this transmission is properly adjusted. When you squeeze your, your self-propulsion handle to go forward with the engine off, you should not be able to go backwards. And you see, like I just said, the wheels are dragging. So this is adjusted properly, but if it ever gets to a point where you feel like the transmission's slipping a little bit, it could just be that this is not adjusted properly. The belt has stretched. And so you would make your adjustment right here 
then you would just go ahead and squeeze it together to make the belt tighter. And when you squeeze your handle, the wheels are locked going backwards. You know, you're properly adjusted. It's too easy. It's too easy. It is rear wheel drive and that's my favorite. I don't like front wheel drive mowers. I like rear wheel drive mowers. Um, you got this little notch right here and that's going to be for the easy pull handle. Again, there's no oil, so don't be pulling hard. But you're going to go ahead and put your cable and just route it right in like that. Now you're ready to go. Too easy, guys. You got two height adjustment levers, which is going to do the rear and then the front. So this thing can go down as low as 1.18 inches and as high as three inches. So you can adjust your front right here. So three inches is all the way. I'll put it on number four. That does both front wheels and then you have a back lever. And that's going to be the same situation. Oh, I don't have the handle tight yet. My bad. And so that's on the fourth lever right there. Wow, that's a heavy duty spring to keep the mulching inside. Look at that. Ain't nothing getting through there, guys. If you don't have your bag on, Ain't, isn't anything going to get through there. Right here is your air cleaner. Very simple to get to. Just push the little button in. You can use your own fingers. And you got a nice washable element. So you can wash it. Let it dry completely. Next week, go mow your yard. So that's going to be really nice. That saves you a lot of money. And that's just like the um, generator that they gave me to do the review on. That was a really nice deal. Now, these handles... You got these two bolts right here, and if you watch, I know it might be a little bit hard to see, they drop right here. And that's it. Now, if you want to fold this thing up, you would take these out, and then just like you saw me open it and lock these, these right here, you'd want to take these out. You don't have to do that, though, if you just want to fold it right here. Take this handle and just fold it down onto itself, you could do that. It'll fold and it'll rest right here. You could do that and greatly reduce your footprint in your garage or in your shed or something like that. But this goes here. And then you got, like I said, you got the little tool. And you just put a, a tight on it. Now, you can stick like a number one Phillips head screwdriver or a flat tip screwdriver through here to get a little extra torque. They give you this, which just locks. Now, I'm not exactly sure where it goes. Probably, I guess, just here. It's got a couple spots for it. So we'll just go ahead and slide this on here, like so. And then we're going to put this inside. This is just a little cable clip that's just going to hold here. And this will do the same. Put this one in and put this one in and then lock it down. That's it. So that holds it out of the way so it doesn't get caught on everything. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Oil in the crankcase. Fuel up here. And it's a done deal, guys. Your mower is assembled. Let's check out the side chute and the bag. All right, so the side chute has these two notches up here. So I don't imagine it's going to be very difficult to do. But I believe you just put it on and it locks itself in with this very heavy duty watch this <laughs> very heavy duty strong spring there's nothing worse than side discharging and then realizing your side discharge chute blew off and that happens with a lot of inexpensive cheap terribly built mowers this one obviously that's not going to happen so you just set this on here and bring the door down and it locks it in place and that's a wrap guys so there's your side chute right there. And then your bag attachment. Basic bag attachment. You got two hand handles right here, two hangers, okay? I've never done this one before, but let's see what we can do. So it looks like it just falls into place right here. And then the door this super spring-loaded door just holds it down. And there you go. There is your fully assembled, besides the oil, ready-to-mow, PowerSmart, 21-inch, 
209 cc overhead valve engine boom okay so i want to give you guys the right information and before i put the oil in i want to tell you what i found in the manual that they do provide they do give you the chart okay and it does give you the temperatures and it says uh all the way up to over 100 degrees use the 10w30 all right if it gets down to, to zero degrees up to 100 degrees and more use the 10w30 if it does not if it does not get below 50 degrees if it's always 50 and above all right they want you to use straight 30 and then if it is always cold like 35 degrees 30 degrees and down then they want you to use 5w30 okay so for me the 10w30 that they provided is exactly what the manual calls for for this overhead valve engine and so this is exactly what we're going to use and according to the manual it says it holds 16.9 fluid ounces so basically 17 ounces they give us 16.9 fluid ounces so you're going to put the entire bottle in i mean okay i like how they did that 16.9 goes in and we're going to use the funnel to do it so i'm going to go ahead and put oil in this thing i'm going to fuel this thing up and i will see you guys in the front yard all right guys let's fire it up we got the side discharge over there we got the bag over there we're going to go ahead and mulch it right back here we got a primer bulb so we hit that a couple times says three times you got your operator presence lever right here you got to hold that down and give it a uh, pull it's not very loud So we have it one click all the way up. Oh yeah, the self propulsion is really nice. It's a nice cut, very smooth, heavy mower, nice and smooth. Backs up nice. All right, let's put the side chute on. this out of the way so we don't trash it operator presence lever fires right back up that's a plus yeah it's definitely doing a good job I mean, it's mowing Now we'll go ahead and throw the bag on. You got these two notches right here, or little bars, and it just falls in place, just like a regular bag. And it has a very heavy duty door to hold it on. I like how it starts right up. It almost helps you. Notice how solid it is. Notice how it stays nice and level. It's not bouncing around. Well, we got some clippings. It's 
So we'll mulch them. And the clippings are gone. So we made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay, huh? It worked really good. It worked really nice. Obviously, the self propulsion is real nice. You could see I never stood in front with two hands pushing. It dragged itself all over the yard. Uh, level four out of five is a nice height. It could go up a little bit higher, but this is the height I like. This is about two and three quarter inch. So I like that a lot. Um, 209 cc engine. Apparently, it's going to have plenty of power. 209 cc is pretty serious um, but there you go you saw it in all three modes so you know it's true you know you can do it the side discharge the mulching and the bagging uh, it worked like a champ under 270 dollars right now like i said hundred dollars off so be sure to check the video description or the comment section so you can go ahead and get yourself one of these yourself and power smart has a whole store on amazon so you can shop further for other things like battery powered tools and stuff like that for your yard and for your garage. All right, so I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me, hanging out with PowerSmart today and uh, checking out this mower. Uh, and if you like my review videos, then you can go ahead and check at the end of this video. There'll be a thumbnail come up and it's to all my reviews, okay? So you can check out all the stuff that I do reviews on. I really appreciate you guys very much and I will see you guys on the next one.